Welcome to Ghoulish Gab. Always spooky. Always under seven minutes. You demanded it, so we're doing it again. A horror would you rather. You know the game. You propose two situations or ideas to a person. Usually they're awful, and they need to pick which one they would go through over the other. Kayla, why don't you start off and put me in the hot seat to begin with? Okay, Corey, would you rather have it so that Minnesota has, like, imagine the worst mosquito infestation, like your worst camping trip where mosquitoes were everywhere. Have that situation where it's always mosquitoes that are that bad all year long and bug spray doesn't work. Okay. Or have the giant mutant mosquitoes a la 1994's mosquito, but you'll only encounter, like, one every other year. Well, I'll take the giant ones because at least I can fucking fight them. I can see them <laughs> coming. If it's a whole swarm, I can't do anything other than stay in the house. You'd risk it biting your ass just to not deal with the, t the, the small ones that you have to smack around all the time? Yeah, and if I only make it a couple years, I don't. Th that's fine. I don't want to live in the other situation anyway. So <laughs> I'm going that route for sure. Okay, who would you rather fight naked in a Denny's parking lot? Just going for it, okay? You, did you ever see the movie Splice? Remember yeah. that thing from Splice? Yeah. Okay, so there's that thing. Or the Greasy Strangler. I hate, I hate that you even asked this question. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to go with the Greasy Strangler because his dick's always out. So I think I could give him like a swift kick in the nuts. And I think I could end the fight really fast. But I mean, plus it's it, it's an old man. Yeah, it's an old man, <laughs> as opposed to like a mutated creature. Thing. Oh, from that I no, that's why I no never. I never want to exist in the same world world that creature exists in. No, same here. Um, would you rather live in a world with magic that can be learned, so anybody could learn magic if they have the ability? or have the dedication to, nope. or a world with superheroes, but the superheroes are kind of, you, we, we have no way of telling if they're corrupt or not. So either people are born with it and they're super overpowered, or anybody can have magic. I'll take the superheroes. I don't want people I know learning magic. I'm too lazy to learn magic, and other people are going to be doing it and rubbing it in my face. <laughs> I'll go with the other shitty situation. It just seems like less of a hassle to my life. <laughs> so that's why I'm picking that one. All Superheroes right, so, aren't coming to Duluth anyway. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you remember that haunted elevator game? I think yeah. you talked. Okay. So would you rather have to play that haunted elevator game or spend a night in the Amityville house alone? Spend a night in the Amityville house. Easy. Easy. Because the Amityville house is total bullshit. Like, I, I deep-dived this on the podcast. It's bullshit. I'll easily sleep in that house. It might be a little dirty and gross, but I'll sleep there. I don't know what's going to happen if I try the elevator game, and I don't want to fuck with it. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. Um, would you rather be taken over and become a pod person? Like Invasion of the Body Snatchers? Okay. Or be taken over by one of the long ones, like in Slither? Probably the, the pod thing. Because then I feel like somebody else is going to work for me. Like, I I can just get... I've given up. Somebody else is doing... Going through the motions for me. And the, I'll be equally dead inside either way. <laughs> so, that works out. Now, which of these would you rather kill in front of a child? Okay. E.T. E. You murder him right in front of children or Munchie. Right in front You're, of children. You have to kill one of them in front of a group of small children. Okay. Do the small children know the backstories of each character? They. <laughs> or is it just me, them seeing me kill this creature with no idea? Well, let's say it's a mixed bag. All right. God damn it. Because I would say that if they knew the background of the characters, Munchie. But if they didn't know the background, 
E.T. Because I feel like they'd be scared of E.T. if they didn't know E.T.'s story. It's whereas Munchie looks a little bit less frightening. That's true. Maybe? He wears a jacket. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go with... We're going with E.T. We're going to go with E.T. All right. E.T. it okay. is. Um, what about... Oh, this is, an, this is a very simple, basic question. Would you rather be turned into a vampire or a werewolf? You know, that's a good... I'm going to have to go with vampire. I feel like you're getting more out of it than the, the werewolf thing. More control as well, too. More, more freedom, control and... You, if you don't like choice. the sun that much anyway, you know. I could adapt to being a vampire. I probably have a list of the types of people that I would feed off of first. <laughs> that I I think I'd go vampire. Absolutely. And if I ever get bored, I can just walk into the sun. You know, <laughs> the werewolf thing, I don't know. I'm gonna have to what put a silver bullet through my face. That sounds tough. That's a lot of work. <laughs> would you rather spend a summer as a camp counselor at Crystal Lake or as an intern with the human centipede guy in his lab. Ugh. Yeah, your summer is wasted either way. Um, I'm going to say I would be a camp counselor at Crystal Lake because I feel like I stand more of a chance and then I don't have to watch the human centipede thing happening and potentially help out. Like if I'm an intern, he's going to expect me to do the grunt work. If I yeah, have to do the yeah. grunt work, does that mean I'm the one like cleaning up the three times feces? Well, you don't have to worry about being put in the human centipede. That's, that's true. You're not, you're going to be scarred either way. I mean, I feel like at that point I'd rather just like, if I'm going to die, then I'm going to die at camp crystal Lake. But the I if I intern for the human centipede guy, I'm gonna want to die. Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today. Tell us what you thought of some of our choices and uh, come up with some of your own in the comments below. Maybe we'll try to use them next time we do this. Please and thank you.